Hi everyone. Um, here is what has been happening. Uh, the strike, the missile strike against a shopping center in Kremenchuk uh, is the new story of the day and the reports of the casualties are starting to come in. So this was from the Guardian uh, saying that 21 people were missing. Um, there was another article from NPR that uh, said that uh, 13 are confirmed dead. I'd like to remind everybody that it was a shopping th center. It presented absolutely no threat to anyone. And at the time of the attack, there were a thousand people inside. In the same NPR article, um, there was this little bit about NATO increasing the strength of its rapid reaction force. And I have a question to NATO. What is the point in having your rapid reaction force if you're not going to use it? Because what is happening in Ukraine right now is a perfect time to rapidly react to the events because there is absolutely no reasonable doubt left that Russia's war against Ukraine, it's not a military operation, it's not an incursion, it's not whatever other word you want to use to make it sound less bad. Russia's war against Ukraine presents a threat to Europe and Asia. So if that's not a reason to use your rapid response, force I don't know what is chuckle of the day um, we thought it wasn't bad enough when uh, Russia had issued sanctions against the dead John McCain uh, they have now barred um, Dr. Jill Biden um, from entering Russia I think somebody needs to send them a dictionary telling them what it means to impose sanctions on somebody Sanctions are supposed to be something objectionable, something that punishes you for what you have done. At this point, I think being barred from entering Russia is more like a free gift, honestly. Um, case in point, in terms of uh, them needing a dictionary, one of their politicians had compared sanctions imposed against Russia to genocide. Again, somebody needs to explain to her what sanctions mean and what genocide means. Maybe, I don't know, send her to Ukraine so she can see it firsthand. Thank you for watching.